Hi folks. So I'm just going to be making a very brief video today in response to some posts I've seen on the Moto user forums concerning animation and keying in Moto. And I think there's a little bit of confusion arising from the auto key feature. And so I'm going to show the three different options of auto keying in Moto and how you can use them and make them work for you in your own preferred animation workflow. So the button in question is this one that currently says animated. This is the auto key mode. And currently auto key by default is set to animated. The three other options are all and off, which we'll go into in a moment. But since Moto defaults to an auto key of animated, let's start by exploring that. So I have a very simple scene with just a torus in it. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a key for the position X channel. I am not going to create a key for Y or Z channels, only the X channel. And I'm going to come down here to frame 10, hit W to activate my transform widget, and I'm going to go ahead and move the torus in X, in Y, and also in Z. So if I reframe it here so we can see it, we can see here on this red line, which represents the position X, that we have a curve and we have a key set down here at frame 10. But we do not have keys set for either position Y or position Z channels. So why? Why do we only have a position set for X? Well, when Moto's auto key is set to animated, it means that it will only automatically generate a key when we modify a channel value that already is considered animated, meaning it's a channel that already has been keyed previously. So since we'd already created a key for position X back here at zero, uh, when we modify the channel values for X, Y, and Z, since X was already animated, the auto key feature automatically generates a key for us. So if I come down here to frame 20, and again, I move, move it, it's gonna go ahead and generate another key for me, but it's only gonna generate a key for the X channel, not the other two. So what if we wanted it to uh, create keys for all of these channels? Well, very simply, all we have to do is make sure that they're all keyed. So if I generate a key for X, Y, and Z now, if I come back here to frame 10, make some changes, now it's going to be giving me keys for all, as you can see, for all three of these channels. The same thing back here at, at uh, frame zero, if I modify it, again, you can see it's automatically generating keys for everything because all three of these channels are now considered animated. So the next option we'll look at for auto key is all. This one's pretty straightforward. Just gonna hit space to drop that tool and hit E to activate the rotation tool. And when you have it auto key set to all, it means that any channel value that we modify for an item is going to be keyed. So very simply, if I uh, make a change here to the X rotation, immediately we get a key for rotation X, even though I've never previously keyed this. But with auto key set to all, any change I make gets immediately keyed. So there we go, we got keys for all three of those channels. Now obviously, uh, auto key all is powerful, but there are many times in a rig that you don't want uh, keys to be generated for anything that you happen to be changing. So with auto key set to animated instead, it gives you more control to, as you move through the scene, only have things key that have been previously keyed explicitly. So all, you can, you can definitely have a workflow that works with that, but you might want to use a little bit of caution. Um, the next one is off. And off is the simplest because it means that there won't be any auto keying at all. So if I come down here to 10, and I go ahead and I make some rotation changes, uh, these will not be keyed because auto key is set to off. Now the kind of confusing thing is that it looks as if it's generating keys, right? As I change these, you can see it looks like it's in the, in the graph editor, it looks as if it's generating some keys here. And in fact, if we come down here on the side of the graph editor, we can see that there are these yellow coloration. And what that is in Moto's terms is a provisional key. 
it's just telling you this is what would be keyed if you were to go ahead and explicitly key it. Now, if I wanted to key these, all I have to do is hit the S, as in Sam, key on my keyboard. And that will uh, create a key for any channels that I have selected. So if I was to hit S right now, it would key the selected channels, meaning rotation X, Y, and Z. But what if I don't do that? What if I don't explicitly key something? Well, what happens to this provisional key? Well, when we move to another frame on the tile line, those keys disappear and the effect of it disappears. So it's now gone. So with a provisional key, again, I'll, I'll make a change here. It's pretty obvious. Uh, if I, you know, just scrub away to a different frame, boom, those keys disappeared. They were just temporarily showing us uh, the effect. However, if I hit the S key to key selected, these will no longer be provisional and in fact will be retained. They become actual keys. And then when we um, scrub away, we now have the animation. So if you don't like things being auto keyed, you want to explicitly set all of your keys all the time, which is a workflow that some animators definitely prefer then simply set your auto key to off and you should be good to go. So there you go. There's the three options of auto key. Uh, and I hope you find this helpful. Happy animating.